If Windows 10 was supposed to be the last version of Windows, how the heck did we end up with 11? Well, you're watching Tech in a Nutshell, and let's find out. So the year's 2019, and everybody's just minding their own business and chilling, assuming that all the great things we take for granted will last forever, and that Windows 10 indeed is the last version of Windows. Needless to say, our assumptions did not age well. In October of that same year, Microsoft announced Windows 10 X, a new version of the OS that would specifically cater to user needs on touchscreen devices with dual screens, like the Surface Neo. With its centered taskbar and tireless start menu-like launcher, Windows 10 X bared a striking resemblance to the core design language of what we now know as Windows 11. At the time, however, no such thing was officially in plan. On the other hand, neither was this. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. The first case of the deadly Chinese coronavirus making its way to the U.S. This is certainly not a moment for panic. In the midst of a global pandemic, in May 2020, Microsoft announced that it would shift its development strategies to accommodate current user needs, meaning that for the time being, Windows 10X would only launch on single screen devices. In October 2020, Windows Central reported on a design overhaul that was being done under the codename Sun Valley, stating that Microsoft was planning to update many top-level user interfaces such as the Start Menu, Action Center, and even File Explorer with consistent modern designs, better animations, and new features. By the end of the year, X64 emulation on ARM was made available to members of the Windows Insider program. On a side note, in January 2021, Microsoft posted a job listing for a software engineer, initially stating that this individual would work on a, quote, sweeping visual rejuvenation of Windows experiences to signal to customers that Windows was back. Interestingly, the job description was quickly modified with the final version excluding the part about a sweeping visual rejuvenation. By this point, it was reasonable to assume that all of this was a natural buildup towards the long-awaited Windows 10X. But on May 18th, 2021, Microsoft told the world that Windows 10X was dead. In the meantime, behind the curtains, something was definitely cooking. We just didn't know it yet. In March 2021, several visual changes and features made their way into Windows 10 Insider preview builds, including new system icons, additional task view capabilities, a file explorer update, as well as Auto HDR, a feature that would later be a major selling point for Windows 11. In early June, the company started sending out invitations for a Windows event that would take place on June 24th, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Allegedly, it was about something CEO Satya Nadella had been self-hosting for several months by then. Later that month, Microsoft also published an 11-minute YouTube video containing slow-fi remixes of Windows startup sounds. So, 11 a.m.? An 11-minute video? Well, for those who somehow still couldn't connect the dots, Microsoft also accidentally released the name Windows 11 in a published support document. When you also take into account that leak that pretty much revealed the whole freaking operating system, well, things kind of started adding up. And sure enough, on June 24th, 2021, a bit past 11 a.m. Eastern Time, Windows 11 was officially revealed to the public. All the while, Windows 9 was still sitting somewhere in the background thinking, you know what? you guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.